A government panel is urging additional efforts to control radioactive wastewater accumulating at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Drastic measures were announced by the government in September. This included freezing the soil around the reactor buildings to prevent groundwater from seeping in. Panel members on Tuesday called for quickly setting up five backup measures. These would involve building large storage tanks with double outer walls, also sealing cracks and holes in pipes with concrete. Panel members said paving the ground with asphalt would prevent rainwater from seeping in. They said measures to surround the wall of frozen soil with another wall was put off for later discussion. The tank in the middle, that was the trouble of the tank. And uh, the tank uh, just, uh, just ahead of us, this was removed uh, because uh, we can de disassemble the top of the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, both tanks have been disassembled and uh, uh, we examined every piece of the uh, uh, tank, a uh, top of tank, and uh, we identified some uh, uh, packing problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the packing, uh, the packing uh, uh, between the uh, fungi mm -hmm. uh, uh, very uh, wiped out, uh, <coughs> very winding, winding shape, winding shape, like uh, uh, the letter W. Do, do you know if, if radioactive particles are still entering the atmosphere? Oh, sure. From units uh, one, two, and three. Um, the, uh, the, I saw an interesting um, report from a reporter visiting the plant. And when they were driving by the uh, units one, two, and three in order to get to unit four, their dis the dosimeters went off into the, the, the thousand range. When they got to uh, the spent fuel uh, pool building, they, it dropped to about 200. Uh, that uh, radioactivity that the, the dosimeter uh, was measuring is going to the dosimeter and is going into the atmosphere. So it is still emitting radioactive materials, uh, not uh, in explosive form, uh, not in a gigantic form, but it's going to keep emitting that for a thousand years or so. Um, I think the only thing they can do with it is cover it over with cement, like they did at uh, Chernobyl. Well, for people on the West Coast, Canada, and the U.S., how much radiation are they getting right now? If 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 there's radiation being emitted into the atmosphere 24/7, and this has been going on now for two years, then how much of it is falling over the West Coast of the U.S.A. and Canada? That's a matter of um, of dispute. Um, private uh, agencies. Uh, scientific agencies, in some cases, not many, have been monitoring um, the fallout because the government is not. Uh, the government is not releasing any monitoring data uh, unless it uh, sounds very good. And the many, as a matter of fact, uh, a significant number of the normal monitoring stations that the U.S. government keeps uh, running uh, are not running. They have broken or they've been shut down because of sequestration uh, cutbacks, um, and we're not watching it. Uh, but uh, some uh, private agencies have monitored this, and some individuals with uh, uh, household monitors, you can buy them at the Radio Shack, have been keeping check on this. And their data is... 
I would not say alarming, but it's scary. If you can imagine a scale mm-hmm. where uh, alarming is uh, you should stay indoors as much as you can. Uh, and and uh, scary is, wow, I'm, gl- I'm sorry that my five-year-old daughter is, has spent the last year in this atmosphere because uh, there is a small chance it's only a small chance, but there's still a small chance that she will develop uh, childhood leukemia or um, thyroid problems or other uh, problems associated with radiation, and there are many uh, in her lifetime. Is that danger increased during rainfall? Yes, uh, certainly, yes, it brings it down. That was what did so much damage in Belarus and Russia uh, and the Ukraine. And uh, also in uh, Fukushima, um, the uh, government directed people knowingly into the direction of a plume. Knowingly is used advisedly. That is, they had information from their, it was called a speedy system, it was a monitoring system, uh, that the radiation was going in one direction, uh, people in the same direction. Um, Why did they do that? I, I recall uh, we reported that. We that cannot event. imagine why. It's unbelievable. Um, the um, well, it, you know to me it's it's equal to um, you know on on September 11, 2001, when the people inside the World Trade Centers were told to stay in the buildings. Right. It's like yeah. why would you tell anybody to stay in the building? But There's they did. They did tell the Japanese people to move towards the the plume. Yes, there is something that uh, sociologists um, have uh, t- uh, named elite panic. Uh, government officials are always worried about the public panicking in emergencies. Uh, uh, the data suggests just the opposite. During emergencies, the public are, that's the real first responders, the person standing next to you. Uh, the public are the best responders. Uh, the official agencies are the ones that panic and tell people to stay in the building or to move in the, the wrong direction because uh, they have other data that suggested that evacuation in that direction would be more efficient. Uh, And that elite panic is still going on in Japan. Uh, They did um, uh, sensitive examination of the thyroids of, of, oh, I don't know, 2,300 children. And they discovered that uh, uh, over 40% of them had um, cysts and nodules that were enlarged. But they said, don't panic. As a matter of fact, to prevent people from panicking and thinking of uh, thyroid disease, they did not release the data to the individual people, uh, to the 41% that were, of children that were detected to have these. Those kids, if you were a part of that sample and you wanted to know whether you had enlarged thyroid uh, uh, nodules uh, or growths, you had to go to a private doctor to be tested because the government has panic. Because what are they going to do with those 47%? And this is just a part of the children that were exposed. It wasn't all the children that are exposed. If you catch thyroid cancer uh, early, it's treatable and can be uh, prevented. They're not catching it early. They're not even going to retest these children. And perhaps it has a lot to do with uh, TEPCO being unwilling to accept responsibility for this disaster. Uh, so, So they just basically are in denial of all these things happening. It has to do with that, and it has to do with government expenditures. Yes. They're, uh, they're asking people to move back to, to um, uh, uh, communities that I think, and many, many uh, scientists, experts, doesn't matter what I think, many experts think are dangerous that still have high radiation levels. 
but if they don't go if they uh, don't go back and they stay away from that danger, they will lose their compensation payments, which are not much, a few thousand dollars a month. Uh, but then the government is running out of money to pay this. So if they tell the people, now you can go back and we no longer have to pay you compensation payments, they will save a lot of money. The Bank of, of Tokyo or Tokyo's banks are going to be busted. And and uh, Japan is uh, financially is has been in dire dire straits for quite some time, and they're they're fighting in deflation, and uh, the last that they need is even greater stress on their economy right now. I'm going to get two more questions in before I, I let you go. Are are we literally on the verge of seeing Japan ceasing to exist as a nation? Is it this serious? Um, if we have a serious accident at the removal uh, uh, thing or a, a serious earthquake, uh, yes. Um, and um, the chances are we will get through it. Uh, I, I don't think that um, um, it's guaranteed that there's going to be a uh, a nuclear holocaust uh, from uh, these events, uh, but there is a high risk, and we should uh, do everything we can. I've, uh, you know, there's a uh, hundred, hundred, and it's, uh, I think it's 150,000 of us now have signed a petition to the UN and to Japan to bring in international experts delay the removal until we have double-checked everything and uh, experimented with everything, done trial runs. Fortunately, they were supposed to start November 8th, uh, but they postponed it for two weeks while they did a trial run. And I think that was a result of the kind of pressure they're getting from uh, petitions like the one I have signed. So there's a lot of concerned people knowledgeable people, not necessarily experts, but knowledgeable people who are concerned uh, uh, about this. And uh, they are not panicking, and so we shouldn't panic. Okay, final final question. Aside from reactor number four, which is what we've been talking about today, is there anything else going on with the other reactors, one, two, and three, that, that you're concerned about? Absolutely. As one uh, uh, journalist said, uh, uh, reactor number four is the easy job. We can get to those things and pull them out. We know how to do it. There are thousands of these uh, of uh, radioactive uh, 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 fuel rods stuck, buried, melted in units one, two, and three giving off radiation, and we have no idea, none whatsoever, as to, as to how to handle that. Number four is the easy one. Number four is the easy one. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that be the final final word on this interview. I think, I, I think our audience needs to just pause and contemplate what they've heard here today. Uh, again, Fukushima is not going away, not in our lifetime. Uh, we're going to be dealing with this the rest of our lives. Uh, my guest today, Yale professor, uh, Dr. Charles Perot. Dr. Perot, thank you. Appreciate you taking this time to be with us today. Thank you. I enjoyed getting the message out. Well, looking over my notes, I, I see that the news reports out of Tokyo state that this process will take 18 months. So assuming that it starts at the end of November, 18 months would take us to May 2015. By completing this video, you have proven you are capable of filming, producing, and editing your own. We expect one video from you by the end of next week. Um, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video.